was always very driven and always very goal-oriented as a player here at UCSB, but also very passionate. He also had a very cerebral approach to volleyball, which is how he earned the nickname, The Professor. By the end of his career, he was definitely a team leader, and obviously as a setter, you kind of need to be like that. Being a gaucho and being an Olympian, you're in a very small club. You're one of a handful, literally, uh, which is kind of special, and that's something that's uh, it's kind of cool to know that, hey, I, you know, I went to this amazing school that you know, a lot of people don't necessarily know about how, how unbelievable it is until they come to Santa Barbara and go, wow, this is a really, really nice place to live. Great school to go to from an academic point of view. I mean, it's got some of the best programs uh, in the nation. Uh, and in general, it's just a fantastic academic institution to graduate from. When Phil blocked that, that last point, the first two or three minutes are really kind of a blur. I remember jumping up and, and pumping my fists and then him doing the same thing and doing a beeline right to me and, and essentially tackling me and then you know, rolling on the ground and, and screaming and, uh, and then getting up and, and shaking everyone's hands and whatnot. Um, I, I, really, I know I did that, but I don't remember really doing it. It's a goal of, I think, every athlete and, and even non-athletes to win a gold medal at the Olympics and I was able to fulfill that. It's all the athletes from the world that are the best in their sport. And I mean, whether it's basketball or uh, you know, soccer or track and field, and, and you see them and you walk by them and it's just, it's just kind of they're just another person there amongst 10,000 other amazing athletes. Uh, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's a really neat feeling to see that and just be surrounded by uh, athletes at that level. When he landed on the right partner in, in Phil Dalhauser, everything just clicked. I mean, they, they are arguably, or almost undoubtedly, the greatest beach volleyball team of maybe the last two decades. And we started playing in 2006 and essentially put together a three-year plan. This is how we're going to build towards this spot. He was kind of young, uh, immature as far as volleyball was concerned, or beach volleyball was concerned. So I kind of educated him on you know, the aspects, mental and physical, uh, and techniques of uh, beach volleyball. It was the same thing I had learned while I was a player. He, it wasn't a clinical approach to, uh, with him. I mean, he wasn't called a professor because he didn't have passion. He did have passion, and that's what has carried him to, to Olympic Games.